Hi, welcome to another series of Atini 85 tutorials. In this video, we are going to see uh, what is a timer and how to configure timers in Atini 85 microcontroller. So generally speaking, timer is nothing but a peripheral that is available in most of the modern microcontrollers that is used used to generate precise timing delays or precise signal so when when you have an application where you need to generate a time delay of one second or one millisecond or one microsecond or you need to generate a signal which uh, which goes from high to low or low to high uh, in a time period of uh, say 50 milliseconds these timer peripherals will come in extremely handy and this will be the go-to uh, peripheral for every programmer to generate uh, to perform in these applications so in this video we are going to see how to configure uh, what is a timer first and how to configure in a tiny 85 microcontrollers and i will be taking you through the program uh, program code to understand it better uh, let's go into the video let's understand the operation of timers first so every microcontroller as we know need needs a uh, clock pulse to operate let's see uh, let's say that this microcontroller is operating at a clock pulse of 16.5 megahertz right sorry about my handwriting yeah so it operates at a rate of 16.5 megahertz okay so in that manner manner we can say that this for each time period takes about 606 microseconds here right so 16.5 uh, megahertz uh, clock frequency and uh, time period of six 606 microseconds okay so each microcontroller has um, let's say uh, as um, mesh machine instructions machine language instructions right which takes at least one or two machine cycles to uh, process so there is no real way for us to uh, translate this uh, clock frequency and this time period into a time delay okay so that is where our timers come into the picture so and timer is nothing but a memory register so this is a uh, uh, 1085 uh, memory register which is associated to timer zero so you can see here T A T C N T T0 okay so what happens is when a clock frequency is fed into a microcontroller when a sorry clock signal is fed into a microcontroller yeah uh, let's assume that this is of same 16.5 megahertz so what happens here is what this timer will increase its value from 0 to 255 with with every clock pulse okay with uh, with every clock pulse this will increment its value let's say at the beginning of first clock pulse it will start from zero okay so at the end it goes up to 0 1 2 3 4 and it ends in 255 because this is a 8 bit register remember there are other microcontrollers with, which will use 16 bit memory register as well okay so at any 85 uses 8 bit register so it goes from 0 to 255 so now we can see there are 255 clock 256 in fact it will so if you count zero so there are 256 clock pulses which have surpassed which means if we multiply with this time period we can actually deduce the number and we can actually uh, deduce the time it has taken to uh, reach from 0 to 255 so all we have to do is 606 microseconds into 256 so which will give us 155 milliseconds i have uh, ignored the decimal values so to keep it uh, simplified so here 155 milliseconds is here so now we can understand that too for using timers we have actually approximated a value a time delay value of 155 milliseconds so now we have something to work with now let's say if i want to generate a time delay of one 1.5 seconds okay which is very very uh, used in real-time applications 1.5 seconds is very much used in real-time applications and that's what we want using a timer so if i perform this operation this whole zero to 255 operation 10 times 155 milliseconds into 10 equal to 1.5 seconds so 
this this manner we will be able to control the time delay and using this register with enough uh, enough times we have we make it to repeat this operation we will be able to generate a time delay as per our desire so this is the basic of timers let's see how exactly we are going to use it in our tiny 85 now next comes a concept called as prescalers prescalers is nothing but the division of the clock pulse yeah we have we have our clock pulses oh, sorry uh, we have our clock pulses which is fed into the microcontroller and sometimes the timing which we derive out of these clock pulses may be too much and we need it to be further down okay For like i like previously we have discussed we got a um, time delay of about 155 milliseconds yeah so let's say we need to have a time delay of 100 milliseconds we cannot scale it further down so that's where prescalers come into the picture so what prescaler does is if a clock pulse is fed into a microcontroller this prescaler divides this clock pulse and by a factor and gives this clock pulse gives a produced clock pulse to the timer peripheral individually so the microcontroller uh, other peripherals will run at a different clock pulse a clock frequency and timer uh, peripheral will run at a different clock clock frequency so here you can see this the register here tcc rob is the register which is associated with timer zero in our tiny 85 and here you can see we have highlighted these bits okay so using these bits you can decide the prescaling factor you can see in this table here so i'm going to use 101 which gives a prescaling factor of 1024 so from our earlier example this clock pulse is of 16.5 megahertz yeah so i'm going to divide this clock frequency by a factor of 1024 which will give me a clock for clock frequency of 16.11 kilohertz yeah so when i when the time period of this clock pulse uh, this uh, clock frequency 16.11 kilohertz will be around 15.81 um, milliseconds okay so now this is very less than the clock frequency the time period which is deduced out of the original clock frequency so this pre-scaled is about 15.81 so now our objective is now let's say our objective is to generate a clock uh, generated time delay of 100, 100 milliseconds now we need to repeat this operation the remember where we go gone from 0 to 255 the 0 to 255 generates 15.81 milli milliseconds using this clock frequency using pre scaled uh, scaled down clock frequency so now we just have to run this operation about six times to get at the 100 milliseconds of time delay yeah so this is what prescaling is about and tcc rob is a register that we will use to um, scale down the uh, clock frequency incoming clock frequency if you if we do not need to clear scale we just have to set these bits as 000 as shown here along with tcc rob register tcc roa is used to configure the timer as well so here you can see the different modes the timers can be used yes timer can be used to generate pwm as well pwm and compare match compare match is a feature that will be used when we are going to compare a value which is already placed in the timer register with which with external signal so i will cover that in a different video so uh, for now for time up for timers so we are going to set the bits to 000 which is here and uh, wgm02 will be in tcc rob register okay so and uh, similar the same goes to 000 for rest of the bits as well so by this we have completed the configuration of timer register the tcc timers in at n85 the tcc roa and tcc rob will be used to configure the timer in at n85 now that the configuration of timer is done 
now it's up to us to monitor the timer status the or the values in the timer register that is 0 to 255 so there is a register called as tifr register this is flag register none the bit here we need to focus is timer zero overflow register so whenever the register the timer register which holds the value of 0 to 255 when it crosses 255 the timer overflows which means the register cannot further contain any values it will go back to zero so at this point this flag will be raised this this flag bit will be raised so using the programmer either has the option of manually reading this bit and understand that the flag has been raised yeah and he can move further or roll this over again and start this operation to further count from 0 to 255 so earlier we have seen um, let's take the first example where we have 155 milliseconds and we need to generate a 1.5 uh, second delay so in that manner we have to run it for 10 times to get our 1.5 second delay and in this manner so every time this overflow flag raises we have to clear it and we have to raise it uh, we have to continue this for about 10 times to get that one point time delay of 1.5 seconds so to clear this we need to write one to this uh, bit this overflow bit so if these uh, this uh, register and this configuration uh, is not making much sense to you please hold on uh, so uh, when I get to the code it, it will it will be much more clear so using this flag register we can understand the status of timer uh, timer uh, the values in the timer register and therefore act accordingly and also this flag bit will be a base if we need to gen uh, if we need to use interrupts let's take a look at the code here so this code was built to generate a time delay of one second and toggle the led which is connected to port b1 b1 pin okay so uh, let's see the setup code here so the first pb1 is uh, the direction of pb1 is set as output here and as you can see here tcc roa and rop these two registers have been written as zero and here tcc rop we are using the prescale of 1024 which means we are prescaling 16.5 megahertz to 16.11 kilohertz of frequency and that's the rate the timer runs in so which means uh, and sorry and uh, tcc tcnto register is loaded as zero this is the register where the actual incrementing process takes place that is zero to 255 and we are initializing it with zero okay and uh, so here we are enabling the timer interrupt and we need the interrupt so we when the overflow occurs the interrupt the program control will be automatically handed over to the interrupt routine here so okay and the register the led is first uh, lit up okay and now the inter the timer starts and uh, you can see um, the each increment will account for about 15.81 millisecond as we have already seen in the video when 15.181 millisecond is uh, it should it should the operation should be repeated for at least 63 times earlier we have seen for about 100 milliseconds so we have seen uh, we have seen the overall operation should be repeated for six times here we need a second of one once a uh, delay of one second because it will be one second will be uh, much more uh, comprehensible by uh, humans and for real applications so that's why i have specified a time delay of uh, one second and uh, when whenever uh, overflow occurs the program control will goes to the interrupt routine here and it will check whether the count has reached one second 63 which is one second and if not it will increment the count so the operation will be repeated 63 times and once it is done we will get our one second delay and our port b uh, will either if it is lit up it will turn down and if it is uh, if it is on sorry if it is off it will turn on so that's how it works and we will get a blinker of with 
one second time delay and it will be of great precision since we have used timers hope this was hope this video was uh, useful to you i will try to make more videos out of this at any 85 and configuring other peripherals as well hope this video was informative to you if it does please leave a like and subscribe to our channel i'm planning to make more of these peripheral videos about at any 85 in future so it will be much more easier if you subscribe and follow us here also please leave your comments if you have any suggestions or any any sort of feedback that can help us help me to make this video better like the flow and how the code is being described and how the configuration is being described it will be great if you uh, leave some comments and uh, it will be of immense helpful to understand and reassess how to make this videos better so that the future videos will be of uh, much better quality thank you